What's up, guys? So let's go ahead and get these sleeves tight. So first things first, you're going to lay down your blouse with the name tapes facing down on any surface that you got around you. You're then going to take the bottom that was hanging and you're going to flip it over the top like so. You are then going to make this crease that I just showed you. You're going to make this crease and you're going to begin to fold your actual, you know, sleeve. Now, important thing is to make sure that you keep this crease, you know, together. You don't want this crease moving around. You don't want to lose this crease that you've created. And you will find out later in the video why it's so important that you keep this crease. But as you see, as I'm folding it, I'm making sure to keep everything nice and neat. Try, try to take out as many creases as possible um, from the actual sleeve itself. And then it's just the process of rolling. You don't have to do this in a hurry. Uh, I would recommend you do it the night before you go to work. I wouldn't recommend waking up, you know, 10 minutes prior for work and trying to roll your sleeves all nice and perfect. I recommend doing this the night before because if you really want them to come out well, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so, like I said, throughout the whole process, you want to make sure you're, you know, getting out all these wrinkles, making sure you're keeping that crease still um, throughout the whole entire process. This process is nice and slow and methodical. So you're gonna fold this sleeve all the way up until you get to the pocket. Um, it's gonna be pretty high up until you see this triangle. If you look very closely, you'll see a triangle on the sleeve um, all the way up into the pocket. And that's how far up you're gonna see. You can see it's gonna be almost close to the armpit. But if you look closely, you'll see that little triangle there. And then you're just gonna do it to the other sleeve. You're gonna repeat the process on the other side. And from this angle, you can see that crease a little bit better. You can see that little fold that you know, you've know you made uh, a little bit better from this angle. And like I said, it's just the same exact process. Make sure you keep the crease. You hold on to that throughout the entire time of rolling. You're taking out any wrinkles. You're going nice and slow, taking your time, trying to make it as nice and neat as possible. And for the width of the actual sleeve, um, I was taught four fingers. Four fingers is usually a good rule of thumb because you don't want your sleeve looking really fat or you don't want it looking really skinny. Uh, you, want, you want a nice, even, you know, sleeve that, you know, is gonna hug the arm nice and tight. And like I said, you're gonna do this all the way up until basically you get to the pocket, uh, almost all the way up into the armpit once you get done with the entire sleeve. Um, and once again, you're gonna see that triangle on the other side uh, as well. You should see, you should have two triangles when you get done with rolling your sleeves. So as you can see, that triangle has reappeared again. So that's how you know you're basically done rolling your sleeve. Um, and then it's going to be the matter of actually fitting your sleeve. Uh, and I'm going to show you that process uh, right here. Um, and I would recommend, you know, doing this very, very, very carefully. This next step, I would recommend doing very, very, very carefully. All right, so this is the actual process of fitting your sleeve. So the thing that I just pointed to right there, we refer to it, or I was taught to refer to it as the trash can, right? So if you can see, I'm pulling on each side, but I'm not pulling that hard. It may look like I'm pulling that hard, but I'm really not. Because if you pull really hard, you're just gonna loosen up all of it. It's gonna be really, really loose. And you see now, all I'm, all I'm doing is putting my arm through it, and if it can reach my elbow, then it's usually you know a good sleeve. Um, but if I can't even get it to my elbow, it's going to be impossible to put on. It's going to be too tight and it's going to be impossible to take off. Uh, so my rule of thumb is if I can get it to my elbow, it's usually, you know, loose enough to where I can get it off by myself or I might have, I still might have to, you know, have some assistance getting off. But for the most part, you, the rule of thumb is if you can get it up to your elbow and you can probably get it off by yourself with it still being nice and tight around your arm. So I had to end up actually taking my shirt off uh, to be able to fit it properly to my elbow. But guys, like I said, make sure when you're doing this actual process of fitting it, you're nice and careful because you don't want to, like I said, loosen up 
all the way. You don't want to take out all, you know, the stuff you have in there and that crease that you created earlier, that fold, because then it's going to be really loose and your sleeves are going to just look nasty and all that. So make sure you do this process nice and slow as well. And just take your time. Make sure when you're doing it, you're still, you know, trying to take out all the wrinkles and stuff. Uh, that way you can have that nice, clean, you know, sleeve look. And as you can see, it went all the way up to my elbow.